Hi, my name is Heather the Heat Hardy, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. This is Amanda the Real Deal Serrano, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hi, I'm Courtney, and I'm Janita, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, WBO, welterweight, pound for pound king, Terrence Bud Crawford, states in a recent interview when asked about the possibility of the mega showdown between himself and undefeated, unified, WBC, IBF, welterweight superstar boxer, Earl the Truth Spence Jr., Terrence Crawford had a few interesting things to say and an interesting take. He agrees with my sentiments. He says that he does not want to have the Errol Spence fight next. He says it doesn't benefit him. It's a lose-lose situation for him if he takes the Errol Spence fight next. He says he wants Errol Spence off at, at his best performance. He don't want him to have any built-in excuses about suffering a horrific car accident October 10th. He states that he wants him to have a tune-up fight. He advised him. He said, I told him when he told me that he wanted to have uh to go into a fight with either Manny Pacquiao, Danny Garcia or myself. I told him, "Don't do that. Have a tuna fight. You don't want to go in a fight especially with me coming straight away off of the injuries. And I want you at your best." So he's admitting that Errol Spence wants to to have um mega fights immediately straight away, and he is one that advised Errol Spence to have a tuna fight. He also um um reiterated the sentiments that i state when i say that it was the second biggest fight in the sport of boxing to anthony joshua and deontay wilder because as the heavyweight division goes so goes the sport of boxing when deontay wilder was undefeated anthony joshua was undefeated that was the biggest fight in the sport of boxing since they have both took losses and he says he feel like they replaced that fight now that they took a step back he says the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder fight was never as big as himself versus Errol Spence. I agree with that. He says at the fight, he tapped Errol Spence. He said Errol Spence was sitting in front of me. I tapped him on the shoulder and I told him, see, this could be us. We need to make it happen. He said Errol Spence turned around and told him, I'm going to wash you. He said that he replied, in order for you to wash me, you got to get in the ring with me. But first you need a tune-up fight. He said Errol Spence then told him he wants to fight with him. Manny Pacquiao or Danny Garcia next? He said, you don't want to fight with me. Let's just listen to what Terrence Crawford had to say regarding uh, this situation. I told him, I told him, he said he's going right into a fight with Danny Garcia or Pacquiao, me, or I told him, like me personally, like, don't come back trying to fight me. <laughs> because that ain't the fight that, you know, you really want on your first fight to come back. Like, you know, I wouldn't want to, I, would, I wouldn't even take that fight, given if it was offered to me. I wouldn't take it because it's a lose-lose situation for me. Mm -hmm. You know, but if, you know, uh, something was to happen and I knocked him out or I beat him up bad, and they would say, oh, well, he's not the same Errol Spence. He's coming off a car accident, this and that and that and this. And then that would be the, that would never, never end. For my whole career, you know, even after my career, everybody would be talking about how I fought Errol Spence after he got the car accident, and I didn't want to fight him before the car accident. That would be the, the story of the line. So, so you see, he says that, you know, um, he don't want the fight straight away. He wants Errol Spence to have, you know, a tune-up fight. He advised him to have a tune-up fight because he don't want any built-in excuses. Uh, I, I've been saying this. I said that, you know, we have to make sure we see the, the best version of Errol Spence coming off this situation. It was a horrific situation. And um, Danny Garcia is the perfect opponent. Everything, the stars align perfectly for this situation because now, you know, um, people weren't happy with the fact that Errol Spence was set to fight Danny Garcia January 25th. That wasn't, people weren't too excited about that. But, you know, now it's the perfect fight. And this is no disrespect to Danny Garcia because Danny Garcia is a two-division world champion. He's a former WBC welterweight world champion. Uh, Danny Garcia is nobody's tune-up fight. 
But when you go in, when you talk about the biggest fight in the sport of boxing being Errol Spence and Terence Crawford, I agree with Terence Crawford. You want both guys, you want to know for sure a hundred percent that both guys are at their best. You don't want any ring rust, any excuses, any injuries. So to go in a fight for Errol Spence with Danny Garcia is not a tune-up fight. It's still a legitimate fight for him, right? And but it's not the biggest fight in the sport. So if he have any rust, any issues that he need to get out. You know, that's the perfect fight for him to do so. So let's see how this all plays out. Terrence Crawford also was asked when he talked to Errol Spence, do they have a date in mind? And he states that, you know, they never talk about a date. They just talk about what they're going to do to one another when they step through the ropes. And he says that they have both agreed that they want to fight each other. And this is the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. So let's see how this all plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV or one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Jasmine. Thank you for watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, soy Jasmine. Gracias por ver. Sangre Azul, Deportes TV. Gracias.